Hello. Welcome or welcome back to Heretic Owl Tarot. My name is Liz and I will be guiding you on this journey today. This is a reading for Taurus, wherever Taurus shows up for you in your chart. I am a Taurus son, so shout out to Taurus gang. Um, let's get you an oracle card and also if you haven't done so, I would love it if you subscribed to the channel. Um, I am trying to build my community here and obviously I can't do that without you. So, <laughs> um, subscribe, like the video, you know, comment all the things that help me get on the algorithm train because truly I can't do that without you. And your card came out fairly quickly winter, which I mean, you know, when I think winter, we have the strength card in the reverse. Do you see how that flipped out? I don't know if we could have seen that on, on, um, view, but when I think winter, I think of, that is like way too many cards. <laughs> I think of, you know, like hibernation, planning, plotting, waiting too, because, you know, there's, you know, you're kind of waiting for the harsh weather to pass. I'm curious to read about this card, though. I love the little ritual that's like happening in the card. That is also way too many cards. <laughs> For Taurus, we have the Eight of Pentacles. I love that the Strength card is actually even looking at the Eight of Pentacles. I really don't feel like the Strength card being in the reverse is like a bad thing. Not that reversals mean anything bad. But it usually is like, it's almost kind of like retrogrades in the sense of revisiting something or um, like, you know, the opposite kind of meaning of the upright, which isn't necessarily negative, but I'll, I'll kind of explain what I mean once we get there. But I, for whatever reason, like I just can't stop staring at the strength, strength card. It's also Leo. And we are going to be going into Leo season here at the end of July. Four more. We don't take the cards that flip. We only take the cards that come out unless it's too many cards. Because we would be here for hours and I don't know if you guys... You know, would want that and technically I don't even know if I could talk for that long so <laughs> four more cards let's focus the knight of wands it's interesting like both of these cards so far are looking at this eight of pentacles so it's like there's this focus on almost like what you are spending your days doing or of course it can be work we have the emperor we have the high priestess eee! and the king of cups eight of cups at the bottom of the deck Five of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. So let's see what this, oh, and I opened right to the page for the winter card. I release what no longer serves me. Winter is a sacred pause. With its arrival, the living world seems to solemnly request that all things slow down, quiet down, and turn down the covers to tuck in for a rest. As nature comes to a still point, this darkness also speaks to death's crucial role and the need for letting go within the earth's sacred cycle. No matter where on earth you wander, you will see nature shift and flow through seasons to varying degrees, from snow-covered northern hardwood forests to balmy equatorial, 
tropical jungles in the dry season. There will always be a dip or a slowing down in the creative force. The same is true for you. This is a time of powerful inward reflection when you are being called to allow yourself space for deep and radical rest. The creative process will always require a time of release and acknowledgement of what is not needed to move forward. So it must be left behind. It is through the practice of rest that the wisdom of what needs to go becomes clear. Gift yourself with necessary time and space for slowing down so you may shed what no longer serves you. And even, you know, like this imagery that I was talking about here that I just, I loved what was going on here. First of all, being grounded, right? Because they are sitting on the ground. They have literally their root chakra connected to the ground. You are an earth sign, right? So even just connecting with earth, connecting with nature in some capacity. I'm in the Northern hemisphere, so I'm in summer now. The Southern hemisphere is in winter. So it could, you know, also be dependent on where you are. We have this owl here, which ooh, I love owls. <laughs> of course, like the name of my channel, my business, right? But owls represent wisdom, guidance. They also are considered um, guides. <laughs> I did just say guidance, but they are considered guides in some sense or protectors. Too. And it looks like there's this um, dome of protection happening over this person. So this could even be an owl can be a spirit guide. It could be, you know, a loved one that has passed over and they have a protection set up around you. Especially now that even makes more sense with the strength card being in the reverse because upright the strength card talks about determination perseverance it's pushing through something it's like inner strength right not not like physical you know muscular strength but um even just the strength that comes along with life and life experience and having to be strong during times when you, you didn't really maybe want to be but you had to be My dog is sympathizing with you. Um, and like I said, okay, so this is what I was going to say, actually. So upright, they're looking towards the left. The left side of the card is the past. The right side of the card is the future. And this also feels like some sort of like victory or like a finish line aspect with this specific strength card that's just the vibe that it's been giving me through these readings when it shows up but like i said with it being in the reverse it's looking towards the eight of pentacles but it's also looking towards the future so this could be an energy that you have found yourself in recently where um maybe you just kind of feel like you you're you keep telling yourself to hold on you know like maybe even being in a in a place of limbo like not quite sure like you're not on either side of things quite yet but you just know that you're going somewhere something is in the works and it's like it's literally just allowing yourself to continue to make those steps forward it could even be courage and bravery with the strength card too. What's that saying? Like takes 20 seconds of courage or 20 seconds of bravery to completely change your life. And it's like 19 of those seconds is like building the courage to actually do it. Right. And then just like that, boom, you know, <laughs> you could go for it. Even with the emperor card, this is Leo. Uh, strength is Leo, which is also the sun. The sun is in Cancer right now. The high priestess is related to the moon. The moon is ruled by, or Cancer is ruled by the moon. You might even want to watch your moon sign. This could be your moon sign. Um, I don't know. That, that was coming through, but 
the emperor is Aries. So we have two fire energies here. Leo, allowing yourself to be seen, having the courage to go for something, believing in yourself. Aries is like having the confidence, taking control of your life, of the situation. The emperor is also the divine masculine. It could be a father figure. Divine masculine is more of the energy, not necessarily a gender but of course you know, since we are talking emperor that's why it's related to a father figure grandfather um just some sort of you know um masculine type of energy and um, masculine energy is you know it's it's initiating protecting providing leading making those decisions the emperor is also all of the kings put together. It's a it's a manifestation of all of the kings. So we have the king of cups out here, but it would also it would it would encompass the king of cups, the king of wands, king of pentacles, king of swords. So they're able to draw in on all of those energies to make the decisions that they need to make. This would even be the like manifestation of this courage or bravery that I was talking about in the strength card. And then we have the eight of pentacles, pentacles having to do with earth. So, you know, I mean, Taurus is an earth sign. Um, pentacles have to do with our money, how we get it, how we save it, how we spend it. It's our time. Where are we spending our time? Where are we physically showing up in our lives? It's our health, our physical body, anything that we place value on, anything that's tangible that we can touch. And the eight of pentacles is focusing your time, your resources, like your literal presence into a thing in order to master it. So it could be a job. It could be a skill. It could even be yourself. I mean, truly pouring a bunch of energy into yourself, especially with this winter card. Because it's like, you know, who who do I want to be? Who am I becoming? I'm the authority in my own life. Where do I want to focus my authority into but again the eight of pentacles is also it's understanding that practice is what makes perfect you know like you have to it's like muscle memory it's also duplicating something replicating something you know i mean this card is also like very creative like sharing your creativity in some aspect Whatever this work is, though, whether it is you, whether it is a physical job, whether it is like a creative project, uh, I mean, it could even just be like remodeling your house. It could be, you know, changing your decor to better suit, you know, how you how you are now or, um, you know, just that came to mind. But whatever it is, though, it is very much like connected to your authenticity it is very much going to be in alignment with who you are because we have the the high priestess which is to me the high priestess is our direct connection to our star player our higher self our intuition there's you know a, a fate aspect to to the high priestess also it's like written in the stars type of thing It could even be really honing in on what you feel purposeful around. Whether that makes you money or not, but it's, you know, it's like you're, you're, you're physically showing up in that thing. Maybe it's rescuing animals. Maybe it's some sort of advocacy, you know, 
It could be something along those volunteering, you know, I mean, it's something to where like you're physically showing up, but it's, it's something that connects very deeply to you. You feel very intuitively guided to the thing. It's interesting that both of these people are on their laptop though, or like on a computer. So it could even have something to do with like what you do on the internet, how you, you know, maybe you're going to start posting on social media. Maybe you're going to follow me on, you know, YouTube, which would be great. <laughs> I'm going to throw like another shameless plug in there. There could be, again, like some sort of recognition. You could be re working remotely. There could even be something that is revealed to you because I believe like the high priestess is also like secrets because it's ruled by the moon. And the moon is like our emotional body, our subconscious. The, the tarot card, the moon is you know, everything is yet to be revealed. There could be something that is revealed to you about your work or through it, right? Like through practicing, through doing it, it, it reveals something about, you know, even getting clearer on what it is that is in alignment with you. And then, like I said, this Knight of Wands, it's like they're jumping towards the Eight of Pentacles too. So the strength card is watching the eight of pentacles. The, the knight of wands is, you know, jumping towards the eight of pentacles too. And wands have to do with action. It's the motivation behind the actions that we take, creativity, passion. How are we communicating those things? What actions are we taking towards those things? And I also see wands as being like internet, you know, like technology, or just like, you know, like the World Wide Web type of thing, which is, I don't, you know, kind of interesting. What the hell was that? Is there like a little baby spider on my leg? Well, I just knocked it off, so now I don't know. That's a nightmare. Ooh. I have this like super fuzzy rug. I can't see it. Well, okay. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, what were we even talking about? The wands, internet. I also see wands as being information by way of experience because that's what we get by trying things. We figure out what works, what doesn't work, what do we like, what don't we like. The Knight of Wands is also like adventurous. Knights are like on the front line. They're the ones that are out there fighting for things, right? I also, you know, like the Knight of Wands is also described as a fuckboy energy. And when I think of fuckboy energy, I think of, you know, they'll be around as long as it feels good for them. Like as soon as, as the vibe changes or there's any type of expectation, like they don't want to commit to anything. So it also could be one of those things of like, do what feels good until it doesn't. Because there's nothing wrong with pivoting if something doesn't feel good to you anymore. If your work starts feeling mundane, Switch it up if you can, if it's accessible. It could even be bringing excitement into your work. Being more, you know, playful or vibrant or... Again, even going back to this high priestess, because I started staring at her again, I, I would have no doubt that whatever this is, you've pro you're probably already considering something. It's already probably crossed your mind. And it's almost like your higher self is like sending you messages like through, I mean, you could, you could see a video on like TikTok or Instagram or something that is just like, even maybe this message, right? <laughs> um, to toot my own horn, but where even in a song, 
you, you know, it's just something catches your ear and it was like, it was a divine message that was sent to you. Like you were, you were meant to hear that at that exact moment at that exact time and the exact meaning that you are associating to it. This could even be expressing yourself differently. Like maybe there is something that has to do with your health because like I said, eight of pentacles is, uh, your body, the strength card in the reverse could be stubbornness, which is also a trait that is described of Tauruses. The emperor could be deciding to, you know, really take control of your life, right? And kind of quit it with the, the stubbornness. The eight of pentacles could be putting attention, resources, time, like literally physically changing your, your daily routine. And it could be because you you are getting these pings you just you feel it in your gut you feel it in your crown there are these messages that are coming to you about your health and it could lead to you um i mean this the knight of wands then would be you meeting that goal it could also be of course like finding fun in the thing you know this is you actually taking action towards it and it can also lead to you expressing yourself differently, dressing differently, showing up differently in your world, just trying on different things. And then the Knight of, of Cups, it's almost like this, even like I was saying, like with the strength card and how that feels like a finish line to me, the King of Cups is almost like this satisfaction or not necessarily like a finish line, but... being proud, you know, it's like taking responsibility for yourself, having some pride, really being proud of even the work that you're doing, whether that work is into yourself or that your work is into your like monetary work, you know, because it's almost kind of like the King of Cups just sitting there, like just marveling over like, hell yeah, I'm so proud of you. Because Cups have to do with our emotions, our emotional body, love, our relationship to love. How do we give it? How do we receive it? How do we feel about ourselves? How do we feel about other people? Intuition, empathy, compassion. And Kings are the highest expression of the suit. So it is emotional maturity. People could look to you as an authority as far as like, wow, like you've really got something figured out here. You know, I mean, there's all these choppy waters around the King of Cups and they're literally, they're just sitting there. They're not even like worried about the water. They're like focused on the future because they're looking at the right side of this card. I love that. And technically they're looking at this eight of cups. So the eight of cups is about moving forward. You know, there's like, you've decided that there's nothing in these eight cups that, that is there for you. Like you've tried it, you've been through it. There's, there's really nothing left in there for you. And it's also making the emotional decision to move towards your desires. Cause they're moving towards the, the nine of cups. We have two eights out here also, which is interesting. I believe the strength card might even be eight. Yeah, V, one, two, three. Yeah, that's an eight card. So there's three eights out here. So they're moving towards their wish fulfillment. They're, they're taking literal action because they're walking towards the things that, that fulfill their desires, that make them feel purposeful, that bring fulfillment. We have the five of pentacles, which is lack, scarcity. It's definitely leaving something behind. It could be a behavior pattern. It could be a thought pattern. Pentacles, again, everything that we were talking about with pentacles. Fives are transitionary energies too. So they're nothing to pitch a tent and get stuck in. But there are some things that they're just, they're not helping you. Whether it's a spending habit whether it's, um, again, a belief system, 
Um, it could even be your health, like how you were approaching your health. Like there's definitely something that you are, you're changing. You're recognizing that it's not serving your highest purpose. It's not going to help you reach your goals because then we have the ace or the, excuse me, <laughs> the page of pentacles. And I see the page of pentacles as being like the apprentice. They're the newbie. They're the one that's trying things differently, trying something new. They already have the ace of pentacles in their hand. So again, approaching work differently. It could be a new job. It could be whatever that eight of pentacles is that you're working on. It does allow you to then move on to your next like the next position or even just a new job it could be noticing or recognizing your worth and if your current business won't do that it's finding one that will it could be learning something new researching something new they have this backpack on clearly there's like you know an adventure like a um, adventure is more like the wands, which I mean, we have the ace of wands here, but it's taking what you have learned and applying it to this new pentacle, the ace of wands is a brand new spark. It could even just like be feeling excited about life again. Having something to be passionate about. I love that. I love that for us. <laughs> Specifically you. And I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for allowing me to read your cards. I will talk to you soon. Bye.